Beloved, October 2nd, 2019. Early in the morning, the Lord gave me two texts. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 4 to 6, and Hosea chapter 2, verse 8. I was also called the attention on a short phrase that he said to me. When God gives you something and you neglect it, he takes it away. He also called my attention to Leviticus chapter 23 from verse 24 onwards. There it talks about God's calendar, the seventh month, the month of Tishrei. We know that in the seventh month, the first of the month, that is when it is the new moon, it is the beginning of the trumpet. This day must be kept. A holy convocation. No work on it. Another thing that caught my attention was that in this seventh month, on the tenth of that month of Tishrei, which is October 9th, is the day of atonement, which led me to Leviticus chapter 23, verse 27 to 32. Another thing that caught my attention when I was reading this about the Day of Atonement is that there are some qualifiers. There it says to us that whoever does not sincerely afflict his soul, that is, does not ask for forgiveness sincerely and gets on account with God, will be cut off from God's people. It also says that whoever did work on that day that person was going to be destroyed. It also tells us that this is a perpetual statute for your generations wherever you live. So this continues to this day, beloved brothers, although unfortunately they tell us that this is not so. It also tells us there that it will be a day of rest to you and to all who are with you and it also tells us that that day of atonement begins in the seventh month at sunset of the ninth day and this month of october now it is the eighth day at sunset because on october 9th of this month then it would be the day of atonement and it is to be kept from evening to evening in the people of Israel the trumpets were always sounded so that the people realized that there really was like a countdown in this preparatory days before the day of atonement because it is a very solemn day may God grant that each one of us make the necessary preparations for this day to meet God and definitely as Elijah said if Jehovah is God follow him and if Baal go after him we must decide beloved brothers there is no time to lose this is not a game our soul is in the midst and each one is responsible for their soul we are not lost because of anyone nor are we saved because of anyone. This is between God and each one of us. May God grant us to see the seriousness of this and that we can advance holding on to Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you.